For my latest keyboard lighting video, I decided to make something related to the World of Warcraft classic release. And what I came up with was actually two different designs that were related to the factions that exist in World of Warcraft, which is the Alliance and the Horde. As far as the color goes with this one, I've really made them geared towards the colors of each faction. However, I did add in some optional items that will relate to the type of class that you're playing, whether that's a damage player, a tank, or a healer. And every 30 seconds, the middle of your keyboard will turn a solid color and it will spell out for the Horde or if you have the Alliance version, for the Alliance. There will be download links for both in the description below, but if you want to see exactly how I did it, then stay tuned to watch this video and I'll show you guys just that. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. All right guys, so I've made a brand new profile and what I'm going to do is recreate the Alliance one for you guys. There's no difference between the two besides color and when you go to spell out for the Horde, instead of spelling out Alliance, you spell out Horde. So the first layer you're gonna make is your background, the checkerboard, red and black, or if you are for the Alliance like I am, then you're going to make a blue and somewhat gold color. So what you're going to do to create the checkerboard effect is you're going to add a new wave layer and click on spectrum cycling layer and delete that one. So with this new wave layer selected, hold control and start selecting every other key on the keyboard. So here you can see I've kind of selected every other key on my keyboard. Once you've done that, click on your color drop down and just choose a three tone color. Since we're making the Alliance one, I'm going to go with the default color blue here and I'm just going to darken the color a little bit. So once I have this new color, double click on the code, control C to copy it, click on the far end node and paste your code back in the box. And then for your center color here, you can click on that blue color again and just drag this a little bit darker than you did on your outside nodes, just like this. And then everything else can stay the same and we'll hit save. And now what we're gonna do is while still using the same wave layer, we're going to select all the keys that don't have blue on them on your keyboard. So here I've selected all of the non-blue keys and now I'm gonna click on that color drop down and I'm gonna choose this option over here on the right which is gonna imitate my blue that I created. And I'm going to select the center one and I'm going to hit the yellow. And I'm just gonna drag in the color chart here just a little bit between the orange and the yellow to kind of make this gold color. Once I have this color that I like, once again I'm gonna drop down the darkness a little bit on it. I'm gonna copy this code and I'm going to paste it into the left node as well. But I'm going to drag this one even darker. Once I have that, I'm going to copy this code and paste that same code into the end. Just like this. So this is going to be my gold color. And I'm going to reverse my angle to go the opposite direction from my blue. So you want it at 270 degrees. So that's all we're going to do for our background layer. Next, we're gonna just add in our reactive layer. So we'll click on the reactive effect down here on the bottom left to add it. Once we've added it, we're gonna select our full keyboard. Click on your color dropdown, and I just added a white reactive. So you can go with six Fs as your hex code. And I just kept mine on medium and I'm gonna hit save. So now I have a white reactive for the keys that I press. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to add the layer that basically spells out for the Alliance, or if you're doing the Horde version, you would spell out for the Horde. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add a new wave layer down here on the bottom left. So with this new wave layer selected, we are going to 
hold control and we are going to scroll up to zoom in a little bit. That way we can get over the top of our keyboard a little bit better. Hold control and we're going to select all of our letter keys, anything that has a letter. So these keys right here. And what I'm going to do is click on the color drop down and I'm going to select the two tone pattern here. So the red and yellow one on the far left, I'm going to click blue. And on the far right, I'm going to click blue. We're going to make our width percentage at 400%. And we are going to change our speed down to five. And now we're going to add a 30 second pause to our effect as well. So every 30 seconds, your keyboard will go completely blue and then it will spell out the words for the Alliance. Now that we've added our pause, we're going to angle our pattern up at zero degrees and that all looks good. We're going to hit save. What we have to do with this effect layer to get it to go all blue at the same time, instead of having a wave effect that moves up is we have to deselect all of our keys. We're going to hold control and we're going to select just a, our center keys right here that we had this effect on. And now we have to technically change the color. So by that, I mean, we have to change the hex code by one value. You can get the smallest change in your color values by changing the second, fourth, or the sixth digits in your hex code. It changes so slightly that it's technically different, but it looks exactly the same. So I'm just going to add a one into my second digit here and I'm going to hit save. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the top row. I'm going to hold control, select those keys, click on my color drop down, click on my node, and I'm going to change my second digit to a two on this one. So now when the wave goes to begin, all of these rows are going to light up at the exact same time. And you'll see that 30 seconds into your keyboard lighting, just like it did right there. So now what we're going to do is we are going to right click and duplicate this layer. And we want to make sure that we duplicate the layer and not create a new one because we want the same exact detailed properties in our spelling as we do in the background. That's going to basically block out the letters and make them blue. Right now, I'm not actually going to get into how to do the letters on your keyboard and how to spell words. I have a different video for that, which I'll link up in the top of the video right now. Go check that out if you want to know how to spell words. And then we're going to move on to the optional effects that you can have on your keyboard that's going to represent being a healer, a damage, or a tank. First, what we're going to do is we are going to add a new wave layer and we're going to select this new wave layer and with it what we're going to do is select all of our keypad here and just like we did with the background of the lettering we are going to make this black out so we're going to add all zeros in our hex code on the left node and on the right node we are going to add all zeros to make all of our gradient bar black we're going to add a <clears throat> We're going to add a 5 second pause to this and we are going to angle it down to 180 degrees. And you can hit save. Just like we did with the blue to make them all light up at the same time, we have to go into each layer and make them unique. Each row should be unique. So what we're going to do is skip the bottom row and go straight to this second row and then click on your color drop down, click on the gradient bar and we're going to make our second digit in here one and hit save. And then we're going to move on to our next row and we're going to select these and we're going to click on our color drop down and we're going to make our second digit two. Likewise with the fourth row, select those make your second digit three and with the very top row we're going to make our second digit four and hit save so now every five seconds your whole entire keypad will go black just like that
Now we're going to right click on our wave layer that we just made and we're going to duplicate that one. And with this new layer, we are going to represent healers. So by that, we are going to hold control and we are going to select out a plus sign in the middle of our keypad. We can select these ones right here if we want. Just like this, and I'm going to click on my color drop down. And once again, I'm going to use my two tone pattern. On the left and right nodes, I'm going to make them green. Now, just like I did with the other ones, I'm going to technically change each row so that they're different and they light up at the exact same time. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these nodes in just a little bit and I'm going to add in a node on the outside of these that's invisible. What this is going to do is it's going to allow the black to come on first and then the green. So it's kind of like a fade. Likewise with this side, I'm going to add in another node and make the outsides invisible. Now we're just going to go in and technically change each of these colors. So changing the second node to one and selecting the top one and changing the second node to two. So now every five seconds, the keypad will go black and then a green plus symbol will be added to it. So it is a little bit too fast for my taste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all the speeds of these waves to eight. That'll slow it down a little bit so that it stays green a little bit longer. So I'm just going to double click on everything, clicking on here, and I'm changing it to eight. Clicking on here, changing it to eight. These other keys in this new layer, because they don't need to be on. Make sure you delete out all the effects on the other keys. You just want this plus symbol. Now go to our other wave layer. And once again, we're going to go in and change the speed to all of these to eight. So double click, change your speed to eight, double click, eight, double click, eight, double click, eight, double click, eight. Hit save. So now every five seconds, your keypad will go black and it will be a little bit slower on the green. So it'll stay on your keyboard a little bit longer and then it'll go back. So if you wanted to add this green light to your other peripherals. So you just click on the effect layer that has this wave, copy that green effect, and let's say I wanted to put it on these lights as well, I can paste that in there. But if you want them all to light up at the same exact time, once again, with these new ones, what you have to do is change the code for each horizontal level of lighting so that they all light up at the exact same time. So for this one, I'll change my front node. So if I want this to be as close to this other one as possible, I'll click on this node here and I'm just gonna change the very last digit by one. So I'll change that to one. I'll go to this one, click on my green node, change that one to two, go to this one, change this one to three, etc., etc. So there I've changed it to all of them. So you can see now when the keyboard goes green, my mouse pad will go green at the same time. So once you've created your healer lighting, you can add a new group. You can rename this new group to healer and just pull in these waves into this group. I'm not gonna get into the DPS emblem that I made and the tank emblem. It's made the exact same way as the healer one. Just instead of making a green cross, you would, you would make a shield that looks like this or you would make a little sword that looks just like this. Last thing I did with this keyboard lighting design is I added an audio meter to it. And what I did there is I clicked on my audio meter effect down here to add that. With that effect selected, I selected all of my top row keys here, clicked on the color drop down, and you can just click on this two node pattern here. On the far left node, you're going to want to make that one invisible. And this right node, I made it white. So 
we can select this and drag it down a little bit just like this so now just the very top part of my bar is white so at high volumes all of my keys will be lit and I'm going to just hit save there and now I'm going to select all of my inner keys here and just leave the outside ones and I'm going to select on my color drop down choose this pattern to match exactly what I did and I'm just going to continue to drag it down my list just a little bit so now all these will light up when it's slightly more quiet than the previous one hit save and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna keep cutting out one light at a time slowly moving this gradient to the left just like so one thing I forgot to mention is that I like to use the auto boost on here so make sure you go ahead and check that and I like to lower the decay that way I get rapid effects if you don't like that you can raise this up all the way in fact I'm gonna raise it just for the sake of this video to just see what it looks like so once again I'm gonna go in a little bit more click on my color gradient and just keep sliding it down hit save go in another light click on my color gradient keep sliding it down and you're just gonna do this until you've gone to the very middle two keys so now when you go to play music it will slowly as the music gets louder it'll work its way out and kind of make this motion that goes from the inside of your keyboard out towards the outside <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video guys don't forget to go and follow me on my social media accounts you can follow me on Twitter Instagram and I even stream on twitch every once in a while be sure to hit that subscribe and bell icon that way you guys see upcoming keyboard lighting videos I got lots more keyboard lighting videos planned for you guys so I'll see you guys in the next one